Excitement is in the air for San Diego sports. Our Corey Kaiser has all the details for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. This season, it seems the Padres have been on quite the roller coaster, but tonight they finished up their four-game series against the Milwaukee Brewers on a high note. The fans sunbathing and enjoying a beautiful day in Milwaukee, but not anymore. Come top of the third, Carlos Quentin steps up to bat with his boomstick and swings and smacks his ball out of the park and into the top level for a two-run home run, making it his 13th homer this season. In top of the seventh, Jesus Guzman thought he would do just the same and kiss that ball goodbye, helping keep the Padres ahead with a seven-run lead. In the bottom of the seventh, the Brewers slowly started coming back, but not on Will Venable's watch. He dies for the ball and keeps the Padres' chance for a win alive with his game-saving catch, which might be the great defensive play of the year. Padres hold on to beat the Brewers 10-8. to And everybody has been waiting for it. It's that time of year again, football season. Today marked the first day of the Chargers training camp, and the players showed up at Chargers Park ready to work and the hundreds of fans ready to watch. And after a six-week break since their minicamp, the players are starting to get back into the swing of things, and some maybe even feeling a little bit of pressure. But with only 14 days until their first preseason game, the Bolts know that it's time to get down to business. And after today's practice in the books, new head coach Mike McCoy knows what he wants to accomplish during camp and prepare for the upcoming season. Just to, to improve every day. Um... You know, there's certain things we've addressed as a staff in the meetings of what we want to get accomplished every day, every practice, and that's the way the, the practice is formatted, the way it is. But the most important, hey, we're going to make some mistakes. We're still teaching our system. We're throwing new things at them every day. Vincent Brown has always been known for his dazzling explosiveness and acrobatic moves on the football, football field, but after a preseason injury cost him the entire 2012 season, the Chargers wideout is back. Fox 5 reporter Jacob Roth found out just how ready Brown is for the upcoming season. You can see Vincent Brown and the rest of the Chargers in action August 8th. The team will host the Seattle Seahawks down at the queue for their first preseason game and kickoff is slated for 7 p.m. Recently, the blackout for that game has been lifted, but you won't be seeing some sports at Point Loma Nazarene University this fall semester. Leah Durfee learns more about these changes in athletics. 